Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can uh, basically just break this game by grinding uh, some uber units. So you want to do this as early as possible. Uh, you can do it as uh, early as just before mission 2. So this is when you first reach New Milgan. Uh, right, I I'm just gonna set up Royal Sponsor because I can't be bothered uh, to grind for more money. But uh, I'm sure you can create multiple Uber units if you if you so desire. So you wanna go with Tempest. Extremely high defense. High defense parts and you want shields on both shoulders. And uh, for the time being I'm gonna go with uh, machine gun and grenade launcher. Weapons well, you can pretty much load whatever weapons you want, as, uh, apart from shoulder weapons, that is. So let's get into the next mission. Uh, make sure I've got some healing items. As many as you can carry. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna do this with Royd. But I'm pretty sure you can extend it to other units. It's just that even with Royd, it's gonna take so much time. But at the end of which, we're gonna get an incredibly powerful unit. So what you wanna do here is get into range of as many enemies as possible so you're getting attacked. Specifically for this mission, stay away from the guy with the E-grade rocket launcher because that thing is just too OP for this stage. Also the reason I say uh, you want to do this as early as possible is because uh, the amount of damage the enemies are doing right now is relatively low and we've got uh, relatively high defense equipment. Later in the game enemies will be powerful enough to just punch through your defense if you want to start the grinding from scratch that is. Now if you're starting from New Milgan, I mean you're starting from this mission then obviously at this stage you only have, uh, what, 5 units available, but in my opinion, you make 5 Uber units, yeah, not, actually you don't even need 5 Uber units, you can just trash this game with 1 Uber unit. I'm just waiting for the enemies. Here comes one. What? He didn't attack! I was too far away. Oh, come on, why are you going up the uh, red? Whatever. Quick or he dies better for me. So, I don't want to attack right now. You just want to guard during enemy phase and heal up uh, whatever damage so mostly these guys will not do any damage yeah that's the guy with the egret rocket launcher stay away from him until the god value increases. 
so let me position myself such that at least four people can attack me. want to get attacked as much as possible because as you saw, guarding basically gives us free EXP. And in this mission with our setup, I'm going to take minimal damage. Because of which uh, all of this experience is just free and infinite. So one caveat, the one thing to worry about here is that uh, very rarely one of these guys will use acid and that's basically game over then because uh, you've got more than four people attacking you per turn. And acid, I'm not 100% sure how acid works but uh, it just seems to reduce, completely nullify your defenses. So. In order to avoid that, save frequently. Alright, Fred is down. Free level up! And the great thing about level ups is that we're gonna be getting even more experience. Plus two experience per level up, it seems. Two hours later. All right, Ro Roy's up to level 28 already. I expected this to take hours and hours, but it took slightly more than 40 minutes. I'm surprised myself. Obviously, it'll take a lot longer if you're uh, having the enemy spread out the damage. Uh, and Lloyd, uh, Roy is no longer gaining any more levels because uh, I guess he's maxed out his dodge skill. So now that is done. We start attacking the enemies. Uh, I'm going to start with the grenade launcher because I don't have to take counter attacks. So at this point, with the uh, dodge maxed out, uh, Royd won't be taking any damage uh, when the enemy, oh, as long as long as he's guarding for pretty much most of the game. Yeah, there'll be some instances where no matter. No matter how much guard you have, uh, the enemy just will, will punch through your defense. That's gonna be very rare for the most part. Uh, you're just gonna be immune during enemy phase if you're guarding. Unfortunately, so you can pretty much freely work on the long skill with the grenade launcher because uh, the enemies are not gonna counter attack. However, if you wanna work on a melee or a short skill, then yeah, the enemy are gonna counter attack. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. And if they if they do enough damage to just break your boss, that's just uh, well, that's just bad luck. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Gonna make him a, a Uber unit. Again, okay, you can you can see why I didn't bother. Uh, deploying more units. Not only do I have to purchase uh, Fonzer parts for them, uh, it will have taken exponentially more time. The, the enemy AI is uh, really stupid, so trying to get them to attack the right people is an absolute pain. Plus I'm pretty sure that uh, Roy, Roy could just uh, solo this game. Anyway, uh, I hope I managed to get the concept across of uh, how you can create extremely powerful units. Like I said, you want to do this as early as possible. And uh, uh, 
If you if you found this game a bit difficult, I recommend checking out my walkthrough where I've put this concept in practice, just uh, with a lot less grinding. Thanks for watching, guys.